It's a white oak. Oh no, I don't remember this. I don't remember these holes. I think this tree's dying. Actually, the first time I noticed this tree, it wasn't me that noticed it first, it was Pluto. He walked up to it, not because of the way it was shaped. I think he just smelled, since it's one of the biggest trees in the area, he probably just smelled some animals on the tree. So he walked up to it. And after he walked up to it, then I noticed it. So if you look at this tree from across, straight across it, it's almost perfectly pointing north, north-south. The thing I don't know is if this, if this elbow of this tree points to anything or not. But if it does, it's hard to get it real precise because I don't know if it's like that, I don't know if it's like this. I mean, the best I can tell, it's straight on like this. you know, give or take some error. So here, at least maybe 80 degrees at most, maybe 90 at most, but more likely somewhere in right here in this range. So I'm trying to measure it here at the elbow because that might be the widest part of it. Uh, 82 inches, give or take several inches because Again, I'm not a scientist, so you can call that 82 inches, give or take 10 inches at the elbow. Here at the forearm, you can call it 57, 58 inches, give or take several inches. Here at this part, it's about seven feet, give or take maybe half a foot. Again, it's, um, it's very inaccurate. I'm not using the good kind of tape measure for this. I'm using that hard kind. So what you have basically, pretty old white oak. This is almost perfectly north. And if you go across it, this is almost perfectly south. It points to almost perfectly east, the elbow. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of agreement on what these should look like. That's a problem. There's not a lot of scientific consensus. Some will tell you that, oh, there needs to be a, a knob here at the, right at where the elbow is. Others will say, no, it should be no knob. Some will say this bend should be up high somewhere on a tree. Some will say, no, a bend should be down near the bottom of a tree. I mean, nobody really knows. And there might be more than one kind of these, you know. It's not, it's not just one size fits all type of deal. There's probably all different kinds of marker trees, modified trees. But uh, whatever the case, I'm pretty sure this is not a natural tree. I go hiking a lot. And I never have ever seen a white oak like this. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's like an unnatural shape. We're surrounded by white oaks and you will not see one like this. Anyways, we're gonna head back. We got the main objective that we came here for at least, even though the waterfall was a bust we weren't able to get down to low ground. At least we did check out this tree and get some measurements because 
I mean, this this is a piece of history, and it's not going to be around around forever. I mean, they're dying. They're probably there's probably loads of these in the forest that are just falling down every day. It's kind of a live piece of history. And unlike some things that last thousands of years, this piece of history only lasts a few hundred maybe. I mean, you hear of white oaks getting real old, five, six hundred years, but these days that's the exception, not the rule. And with the environment changing, air quality changing, who knows if we're gonna see a, another five, 600 year old oak. I'm not saying this is that old, I'm just saying it's not gonna survive for a long time. You know, maybe it'll go down in five years, maybe it'll live another hundred, who knows. I can tell you that part there is already getting hollowed out. Uh, if I had to guess, this thing was, this thing has maybe 10 years at most. More likely it's gonna fall down within five years. That's just a uneducated guess. So I'm glad we came out here and got to see this tree one more time. I'll get some pictures of it and I guess we'll head back.